What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender and Scatter tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna use Scatter in order to scatter some low poly trees on a surface, but we're gonna do it in a way that masks out all of the steep areas where trees wouldn't grow. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first of all, we're going to be, well, first off, you can download Scatter by visiting the CGEssentials.com slash scatter if you want to check that out. But in this video, we're going to be taking um, some low poly models from Sketchfab and spreading them across this surface that I've created with the ANT, ANT landscapes function. So basically what this does is this just gives us something with some like steep faces and other things like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these from Sketchfab and I will link to these, by the way, in the notes down below. Um, these are free low poly um, objects from the free low poly hand painted environment pack from Rosie Jarvis. Um, and those are creative commons with attribution. And so um, what I've done is I've just taken the two of those and I've just kind of like broken them up um, on their own. I've also moved the origins to the base of the trees just for simplicity's sake. But um, I deleted out everything except these two trees. And so what we want to do is we want to spread these across this surface, right? And if you remember, the way that we're going to do that is we're going to have scatter active and we're going to start by setting our target surface. So to do that, we're just going to click right here, select our object, right? So now we have our object set. Well, now what we need to do is we need to tell it what to spread across that surface. And so we're going to start by clicking in here and selecting something. Let's go with cluster wood L duo for right now. So that's just going to give us kind of a cluster on the surface. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, because we've set our target right now, we need to tell this what to scatter. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select these two objects and click on the button for scatter. Right, and so notice this scatters a couple of these on this surface, really not that many. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna turn up our, our emission count by a fair amount. And you may, so I'm gonna bump this up to something like a thousand, right? Just so we can get a few more trees on here. And so the first thing you're gonna notice is these are laying down, right? And the reason they're laying down is because these objects are basically, they're being set based on the way the object origin is orientated for each object. So if I click on this object and we're going to go up to our options and click on effect only origins. Well, notice what that does is that gives us um, a little indicator of what the origin looks like for this object. Well, you can see how the Y axis is standing up. Well, the Y axis shouldn't be the one standing up. The Z axis is what dictates things standing up and down. So I'm just going to tap the R key then I'll tap the X key and I'm just gonna type in a value of 90, or actually it probably needs to be 270. So I'm just gonna adjust this to 270. Now, these trees are standing up. Well, we also wanna do the same thing here, right? So we'll just do R, Y, or X, 270. So now the Z axis is standing up for this one as well. Well, now you can see how these trees are being placed on this surface, right? So you've got a bunch of trees scattered in here, like a thousand of them. So, and we can even bump it up to like 2000. Just be a little careful. You don't want to overdo it. But the problem is if we look at this, a lot of these trees are on surfaces that would probably be too steep for trees in real life, right? Like see how these are kind of like halfway into the surface. We don't really want that. So what we need to do is we need to set up a mask that's going to mask out objects based on their slope. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the option for masks. And we're going to click on the button for create new mask. And we want to find a mask for slope. And so notice how nothing's really happened yet, right? So first of all, I am going to bump this up to maybe like 3000. So we may do even a little bit more a little bit later, but um, notice how there's not a whole lot going on right now, right? And so the reason for that is because first of all, we need to select all of these trees by clicking on them and click on add influence to selected system, right? So that's the first thing is we need this to come in here and actually add that to this system in here so that it's actually affecting the way the trees are placed in here. And so this took care of a lot of those, but let's go ahead and adjust this. So we can adjust how steep this is applied by clicking on the fall off button 
And so we can adjust this by adjusting our fall off in here, either by adjusting the actual location of the points on this graph. And so we can adjust this slider either to the left or to the right in order to set how sensitive this is to different slopes, right? And notice how when we set this to be like way sensitive, so all the way to the max value right there, you get kind of a weird result. But um, you can get these off of most of the steep surfaces just by adjusting this so that your max value is very low, right? And you can see how you could also do this the other way. So you could adjust your minimum value in order to make that change. That gets a little bit weird, so you're probably not going to do that. But this is pretty intuitive when you start working with it a little bit. But now you can see how if we look at the actual geometry, I'm not getting trees on any of the steep portions right here. So then let's say that we were to add a camera. So we're just gonna add a camera right here. We'll zoom back out and we'll be really lazy and just add a sun. So we'll just add the sun right here. Switch to rendered mode, give us some shadows. And so we'll go ahead and enable children on this and we'll set the render child amount to like 10 as well. That's probably still gonna be too many trees, um, but we'll go ahead and leave it for right now. And if we render this image, you can see how you're gonna get an image in here where all of your trees are placed only in the areas where your steepness isn't over that certain value. So you can use this to be really specific about where your trees are rendered. And you can even couple that with another mask. So let's say for example, that I didn't want trees in a certain area, I could just add a paint layer mask like this. And we would want to add it to this system. And then I could just go into paint mode like this. And I could just paint the trees out in a certain area. So that way I wouldn't have them growing in random places on the cliffs, just like this. But now we'll just click on add influence to selected system. We'll go back into object mode and you can see how in the area where we painted those out, there's no longer any trees in here. So it's implying both the painted mask as well as the slope mask inside of scatter. So if we were to render that image out, you can see how that's gonna look even better because you don't have trees on your random rocks like this. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you know you could do this in Scatter? Have you given it a try? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.